dada Hello, uh, welcome uh, everybody. Um, I'm just going to share my screen before I get uh, started. So, thank you very much for attending uh, this evening. I know that we are all attending in circumstances that we would prefer not to be. Um, it's a difficult time, we acknowledge that. Um, but hopefully we can we can have a look at how we can help the most important members of our uh, community uh, our our children through this difficult time um there are a lot of people on here so hopefully the technology is going to cope with um having so many we we honestly weren't expecting as many as this so again i just want to say thank you um, for making the time this evening, this afternoon, or whatever time uh, of the day it is. Um, so, just a quick introduction to myself. Um, my name's Terry Barton. I am a grassroots coach. I'm a father. Uh, I am a, the, the, the chief executive of the coaching manual. Um, the coaching manual is the parent of Top Techers, which is our, our, our newest product. And we've built this because we love the game, because we love trying to help children also fall in love with the game. So um, that that is kind of ultimately where we're coming from. Uh, the Top Techers is... For most people brand new but we are a business with nine years of track record in this industry so by now hopefully we don't always get it right but we we kind of hope that we gradually are starting to um look like we know what we're doing so anybody just before we get started uh, and i give an introduction i just want to kind of we are in unprecedented times. It's a, it's a phrase that we hear an awful lot at the moment. And I um, I actually just wanted to, to anybody who works in the healthcare industry, to anybody who is on the front line of what's happening globally at the moment, and I don't mean business people like myself who who are, you know, in, in the thick of things in, in many other ways, but those who are actually fighting on the front line, if you have made time tonight, then I, all I can say is that I am... Um, I admire so much for what you're doing, and I admire the fight that you're going to take to uh, this this uh, virus. So, apologies if there are full dropouts in any of the technology. It, it might be just purely down to the large number of people who are here. So, a, a little bit about us, a little bit about the coaching manual, top techers, and, and why we've done what we've done, and then we'll get into what am I doing um, for my players throughout this period? It's eight minutes past seven um, on Wednesday evening in the UK. Every other Wednesday evening for the past six months, I've been on a football pitch at this time, coaching my boys. Um, we took the decision at the end of last week that we would have to stop doing that now. Um, the advice that we were given by the Football Association was to stop doing it for uh, until the beginning of April. But I think that we're now starting to understand that this is going to be quite a long process. And I think that we are in it for the long haul. So let's stick together in that process and let's, um, let's make sure that our players, uh, our coaches, if we run clubs, are still able to learn, still able to love this wonderful game 
during this very difficult uh, time. The Coaching Manual is a family business. It was founded by me and my younger brother and my older brother, which is usually a recipe for disaster. Um, and on many occasions, I suppose you could say it has been. But we founded this business because we love football. We grew up in a small rural part of the northwest of England called the Lake District. Um, and from the as soon as we were able to walk, we were we were playing with a ball. Um, it was definitely a passion that was passed down to us by our father. Um, it was something that gave us a great deal of comfort in difficult times in our life, um, times that, that, that most children shouldn't face, the loss of parents and things like that. The solace that we took from football is something that is lifelong and will always be lifelong. And, and here we are in a difficult time that none of our children should have faced and hopefully they can find some solace in the game as well. Um, I have a son myself. Uh, the video that I showed you at the beginning, which I may go back to um, for those who didn't see it, or actually I'll probably play it again at the end. That features my, um, my own son, Jones, who is 10 years old, loves football. The one thing that gives me great pride is that I've passed down this passion that I inherited from my father to him, and he loves the game. Um, and Jones will feature, although not personally tonight, he's going to feature in, in some of the stuff that we talk about. So the passion for football, the passion for practice, and our real desire to pass that passion on to players is something that is fundamental to everything that we do at the coaching manual. And I want to make sure that, that we try and pass, pass this passion on to, to other children. And if we can do that on a global basis, then these three boys from a, a town of 3,000 people in Cumbria um, have done an amazing thing. And, and in order to get there, we have to thank all of our customers, all of the people who are, are part of this journey with us. So to you guys who are attending tonight, we give our thanks. We, um, we also hope that you're all safe and that we get through this particularly difficult time. So let's talk about Top Techers. What am I doing um, with my players? Well, they are in lockdown. The schools, it was announced today in the UK, will close at the end of this week. Um, there is no time limit on when those schools will reopen. It's an indefinite closure until further notice. So we are in a position where it's almost impossible to try and think about what's going to happen in the coming times. Um, but we are going to do everything that we possibly can to minimize the impact on children. And in this particular instance, to minimize the impact that it could have on their development, not just as young soccer players, but as people who love this game. Because if we can impact them at this time, then it might be something that they, they carry on through the rest of their life. So Top Tech has, was founded, well, it was actually launched in November of last year. We developed it to create a platform that would help children fall in love with practicing the basic skills that are fundamental to any young soccer player. So I'm logged in as a coach now. If I log out again, there are three ways that we can log in. We can log in as a coach, as a parent, or as a child. I'll log back into my coach account. Now, again, apologies for anyone who's having issues with the sound. So I'm going to go to full screen. I've turned my camera off. Um, and hopefully this, this will help the thing play. So just bear with me um, and I'll try and make a few changes. So I've logged in as a coach. Um, how do I use it as a coach? This is an important thing. Um, the other thing that's probably important at this stage to say is that coaches will never have to pay for this. So we're always going to make it available for coaches for free. Um, and that's a reason that we've taken um, as a business and as people because we actually believe that coaches, especially volunteer coaches, give so much of their time to children that if there's anything that we can do to remove the financial burden from coaches, then we're willing to do that. 
So the coaches portal is free and that doesn't mean that we're not going to build great functionality in it. We are, but we are going to make sure that you can use it without having to pay for it. Um, so the coaches portal, you can see the players that I've set up, but the first place probably to look is into my account. So inside here, I can go and look at my first name, last name, email address, password. The good thing is there's no billing details. Like I said, it's not going to be paid for. Um, the other elements of my account are the connections and the requests part. So if we onboard your team as a business, then all of the connections to your players will be automatically created when we onboard you. And that's just via um, an Excel sheet that you send over with your players' parents' email addresses on. Um, but if you are an individual coach and you're getting your, co your players to sign up separately, then you need to connect to them so that you can start to build a team. So you just go into here, request a new connection, put the child's name in and the email address, and then that will send the uh, parent an email address saying that you've requested a connection. You'll then be able to see all of your connections in here. So you can work with those connections. If a player leaves for whatever reason, you can remove them. So requests is where you add or request new connections with parents. Connections is where you manage those connections. When we do an onboarding, you'll see that the connections are either bold or um, they are in um, grayed out. So if they are grayed out, not in bold, that means that they are um, they're not currently connected to you. So you maybe need to give those parents a bit of a nudge. Uh, back into account details is um, this part of the, the, the platform is uh, just password is, is the, the main thing there. So my dashboard, my, my teams, I can build as many teams as I want in here. Um, it can be my development squad, my, my different teams for the age group. Uh, it could be a, a team that I'm building uh, for a bit of fun so that we can actually compete as grown-ups uh, within the business. Um, so it, it can be it can be however we want to do it. But if I build a team, it means that when we release the scoreboards feature, then the team will be able to see each other's scores. So all, to, all I do to build it is add a new team, choose a team name, choose a color, URL if I need it, and away we go. Once I've created the team, I need to go and add my players. So I can go into the team when I click manage players. And if I scroll down to the bottom, I've got an option to add. I just need to go and choose a player from my list of players that are connected to me to add those in there. So I've got my team built here. Um, and the other thing that I can do as a coach inside here is actually manage an individual learning plan for those players. So if I go into my um, son's account and I choose to edit his development plan, I just go in. Uh, select edit and then I can remove a skill or remove all the skills um, and then I just need to go and add the techniques back in so if he's doing a say I want him to do some fitness um, let's get him doing some push-ups so some of the skills you might not know what the uh, actual skill is because everybody's got slightly different definitions so what we have here is a really nice little um, pop-out where you can watch the video. Hopefully we all know what push-ups are. So it's basic technique in the video so that we know that the, that the children are getting the right techniques. So I'm happy that I know what push-ups are. I add that in and save it. And then that gets pushed straight to his um, child account. Let's add a third technique for him. Let's have a look at turning and let's give him the Cruyff turn. I think we all know what that one is as well. So there you go. That's his development plan set up for an individual basis. So I've looked at some things that, one, I think are going to be fun for him to work on, two, things that uh, I think he needs to get better at, and three, things that are going to challenge him. Um, it's not just about... Uh, it's not just about the football skills, top techers. It's about a bit more than that. It is about things like uh, movement, so fundamental movement. It's about um, fitness. 
Um, it's about all of the different components of the game, um, really focusing on the physical and the technical sides at the moment at launch. Um, and like I said, this is fairly new, so we've got quite a long way to go with this. We, we only launched it properly in November. So I'll go back in and, and, and add, his, um, add his, his last technique. So that's his um, individual learning plan done. He can now go and log into the app and he'll be able to access that plan. So what's it look like from a team's perspective? Well, this is really a cool piece of um, technology that we added relatively recently. It's only been, it's only been around for about a, a week and a half or two weeks. Um, this is a a way. This is a way of way of helping your team, um, you know, on a in a quick way. So not every coach has got time to go through thirteen players and add individual learning plans. And to be quite honest, not every coach has got the experience to do that. I mean, I I, I consider myself to be relatively knowledgeable, but I'm, at the end of the day, I'm a grassroots coach. I'm not an expert in child development. I am. Um, I don't profess to be any kind of expert in, in knowing how all of those things that, that kids need to do in order to become whatever they're going to become. But what I do know is that they need to practice and they need to find things that are going to be fun for them. So the edit team plan is just a really quick and simple way for a coach to just create a learning plan for the whole team. It's a great way to inspire competition because they're all working on the same thing. So they'll all see how their scores change in the scoreboards. But all I do is I go and select the techniques from the learning plan. So if I'm looking at dribbling, I can look at um, the different dribbling techniques that are in here and I can choose one to add for them. The thing that's worth pointing out in the coaches portal here is the ability to change the, the difficulty level of the techniques when you're adding a team plan only. Each player has their own difficulty level, which is set by their parent. And I'll show you that a little bit later. So I can choose difficulty levels for the players within the team learning plan. So I'm going to keep it at the higher level of difficulty. Um, I think we know what running with the ball is. We've kept the information really simple for kids. So there's only a, a few things that they can look at. I can again have a quick look at the video. Yeah, big touches. We know what running with the ball is. Um, I'm going to add that into my team plan. I'm going to save it at, at, at level three. Um, oh, if I've already added it in, so let's do diamond dribbling instead. And there we go. So they've got a team learning plan now, my team. Um, I'm going to go and have a look into my son's account and I'll just show you how that looks from his perspective. Now, the you can log into Top Techers, like I said, in three different ways. Um, but I'm logging in, there's actually a, a different kind of way in terms of technology to log in. So I'm logging in on a desktop here, but you can also um, go and log in on an app. So it's kids that we're targeting with this thing. Um, they spend their life on mobile devices, tablets. They tend not to anymore be um, working on desktop uh, hardware. So let me log in as Jones saves his password um, and I can go and have a look at his account. So he's got his top training. So this is how it looks for the players. It's fun, it's colorful, it's not heavy in text because kids don't like to read loads and loads of different bits of text. If he wants to go and discover techniques himself, he can. He can go and watch the videos, see what the, what the technique is. He, there is some stuff telling him about the basic coaching points that he needs to think about. Um, but the video is really self kind of explanatory for him in terms of the technique. So Football, you need quick feet. when we designed this platform, it wasn't just to get kids practicing. We don't want kids to, to just have a thousand bad touches of the ball or a thousand pointless touches of the ball. We are really, really strong on having the right technique and doing things in the right way in in soccer um i never 
went particularly far as a player, but my uh, brother, younger brother Chris did. He went and played um, in the professional game at Carlisle. So it was the difference between me and, and Chris, if you like, was that I was never as thorough on learning technique as he was. I was never as committed. And the major difference was that he just practiced relentlessly to perfect his technique. So when children watch these videos, we don't want them to just watch it and do it without, with, in the wrong way. We, we really are trying to use technology to teach children the right techniques. And for parents and for grassroots coaches who maybe don't know the techniques inside out, and I would count myself in this, watching these videos is such a great way for a coach or for a parent to learn about the things that are going to help their child get better. Um, from a, if you, we're going to be in, in, in an issue at the moment with where we can't go and see other people. We might want to do one-to-one -one coaching with our child, but we can't go to the one-to-one -one coach. This is perfect because the parent and the technology can become the best one-to-one -one coach that there is because all of a sudden I've got the right information to give to my child. Um, so is a great skill you can practice anyway. techniques, dead important. In a safe space. Child can watch the video and learn the technique and then go and take the challenge. So the child gets a really simple video telling them how to take the challenge and it tells them how many they can do in 20 seconds. So they have to go and try and score a bronze, silver or gold. So you go in here and you enter your score. Um, I can put 60 in because I know that it's his, it's his um, best score. Um, so it just gives them a gives them a bit of a pat on the back for doing that, um, and that's how children can browse the content and find things that they are interested in. But also importantly for kids in here is where all of their data is kept. So we can look at all of the different color trophies that he's won. He can also go and have a look at his scores. So one of my favorites is juggling, and this is why I know that Top Techers is so good. Because when, um, when my son, when Joan started working with this platform, when we were kind of in a soft beta phase in September, his top score for juggling was about 25 to 30. He was doing really well on the others, but his juggling wasn't so great. And he said to me, Dad, I'm going to set a target that by the end of January or February, I'm going to have got over 100 juggles and I'm going to hit the gold for... Um, the three-star challenge. He was two-star when he started. He's now three-star. So he practiced and practiced, got close on a few occasions um, when he took challenges, but he could see that he was getting better. Um, so he kept going, kept going, kept motivated, and eventually ended up getting 116, which is just tremendous because juggling is really hard. You can't get good at it if you don't practice. It's just not one of those things that comes naturally, like striking a ball or something like that. You really do have to work at moving your feet, getting your balance, uh, controlling the ball in the right way to, to get good at it. So he did, uh, and and good for him, he's, he's set his juggling. Now he may go back down beneath that score now, um, because obviously development isn't completely linear, so he's um, he'll just keep motivated to keep changing. We will add more difficulty levels in. So I'm really looking forward to the time when I had, had gold as 150 and he's got to go after that again. So um, all of his scores are kept in there, dead easy for him to navigate around. It's built for him. Um, when it comes to his account, what can he do? Well, actually, he can't do anything. Um, we've really locked down the security of this. So there is no social media element to this. There is no internal communication element for this. We know that that's really dangerous for child protection. We are working with children under the age of 13, so it's obviously illegal to provide a, a social media platform for children of that age. And I know that there are other platforms that do that. I completely disagree with it as a parent. Um, there's enough pressure on children at the moment without them going into something that where information they get might be incorrect. So it's dead safe. He can't even change his username. All he can do is browse content, take challenges, and check his scores out. We are going to add in a scoreboard feature very soon, um, and that will be a great way for him to compete with his teammates at, in the beginning. But the other important thing for him as a, as a player is his training. So these are the things that his coaches have given him. 
as we said, as I showed you earlier, we did the foot control volley, Cruyff turn and shuttle run. Um, so he can go and practice those. He can see that he's done those. Now, as a coach, I typically set um, learning plans for, for players to last a week. Um, there is absolutely nothing wrong with leaving them for two weeks. There's equally nothing wrong with changing them every, every, every other day if you want. Um, it gives children variety. You can let them know, let the parents know in the, in the team WhatsApps that you've added some new skills, get the kids on there, get them working hard. So he can go and see that, his top training. And there's his team's top training. So these are the skills that are a bit more demanding for him and his teammates, but that's all kept in there. Um, again, sorry for anybody with the um, issues around the, 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 the quality and some of the technical issues, but I'm going to make sure that I'm, I'm recording all of this anyway. So we'll, we'll have a, a good copy of it, hopefully, and, and we'll share that. Um, so I'm going to go back out of here. Um, and I'm going to log out of his parent account. So the last login type to show you, and, and I, I'm assuming that a lot of people on this um, are parents. So the last thing that I want to show you is how you log in as a parent. Um, it's, it's vital, really, that, that parents have got control over this. And, and this is really what makes us unique as a, as a, as a business, it is the security that we've built in for this for your children. Um, there is nothing out, out there that's anywhere near as secure. So I can go in and look at my children. I can go and check out their scores. So I can go and see that he's been active. I can go and see when he was last um, using it. Oh, so he's been, he's been using it recently, which is terrific. Um, I can go and check out his, his trophies. Um, and like I said, I can go and look at his scores. So let me just check on his juggling. Yeah, still 116. Way to go, Jones. Um, so that's the, the kind of overview that I get as a parent. But the really important stuff is his account. So I can look at his um, activity, the number of trophies, and just a bit of a summary. But then I have real control over everything that he does. So when you log in and create an account as a parent, you get to add the first and last name, you get to add the username, and you get to set a password. Passwords are simpler for children. Um, they're not difficult. The, the thing about them is that, so if a child forgets his password, which believe me, it happens all the time, you can just go in there. You don't have to remember what the last password was that you set for that child. So it's not awkward in that sense. You can just go and um, share a new a new password in there. So the other thing that you can do as a parent is add the child's year of birth. We give a recommended difficulty level for that birth year, but I actually have changed it because he was finding it a little bit too easy um, when he was doing it before that. Now that is pretty much um, the, the, the product. We've got three types of login on the same platform. Um, you can log in as a player, coach, or parent. I know that most people here are coaches, um, so that's where I would I would start. You can you can register um, quite easily. So if you've already got a parent account and you want a coach's account, it's dead simple. You just need to go and create a coach account. It'll recognise your emails already in the system as a parent, and it'll just say, "Hey, do you want to create a parent account and a coach's account?" And away you go. Um, so yeah, we will share this. Um, I know that there were technical difficulties. We will rectify that and and chop in a, a decent video so that we've got everything that we need. Um, I'm going to play the the video again uh, as as we kind of go out of this in a moment. Um, but I just wanted to say one more time that I really appreciate everybody's time. We are working round the clock to try and make sure that this platform serves children in the best possible way at this time. They're going to get stressed out. They're going to get frustrated. Uh, you know, my kids found out that they were, um, the schools were getting closed uh, on Friday. So they were thinking it's really exciting, but they don't really understand what's coming, um, that they're going to be locked down in, in the house and, and it's going to get really boring for them. So 
if if it was just juggling and that's all they were doing, I think that they'd get really bored really quickly. The great thing about top techers is that there's loads of things for them to to get stuck into. It can be fitness, it can be um, it can be juggling, which we have got in there, but it can be a whole range of other things. We've got more. We we we're going to be capturing more content in the next. Hopefully by the end of next week, we'll have released a whole load of new stuff that kids can do in in the house, and actually stuff that um, that children can do on their own. So uh, or with with friends. But I would urge any parent here. We're going to be locked in with them. Just do some of the challenges with them because they're really good fun as a parent. They really are good fun. Um, that's why we set up the group between a few of the guys in work because whilst we're all unable to see each other, we're going to see who can score the most. Um, we do have the offer that, that people are asking about, the, the, um, the offer that we've got. It is uh, $5, five pounds, five euros um, to get us through to the end of July. So five fiver per player, but through to the end of July. It's normally three ninety nine a month. So as a business, we basically cut it down as close as we could to cost because we just know how much pressure everybody's under um, and we don't want to kind of be seen to be taking liberties with, with people. But at the same time, we've kind of got a guide, guidance from the government about when things are going to change and, and that's why we've gone for end of July because by then we're hoping that some of the football activities in groups will start to have um, have picked up again. But just want to say again, thank you so much um, for attending and from everybody at the coaching manual, from everybody um, in, in, in all parts of our business all over the world, if there's anything that we can do to help, we're always here. Um, we just hope that all of our customers, all of our friends stay really safe during this period um, and we all get through it together, that we stick together and that we, we come out of it stronger, better, and um, hopefully with the children, technically improve their football skills. So thanks again, and I'm going to play out this video at the end. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah.